too pro vaccine, I tell you. Broken phone, all of the like I'm I'm here. Like I can't go to the doctor, who cares? Uh yeah. Armstrong and Getty, like they can't seem to uh you know, there there's no free speech there. They've gone flippity flop to uh worshipping all sorts of left wing crap and cutting everybody out. Like you can't make a comment. You can't this, you can't I'm tired of it. I used to listen to that Armstrong and Getty for twenty years. It's like that's the show I wanna hear. It's right wing and stuff and like now it's like totally hide the fact that Trump ever existed and the vaccines are like a miracle or something and like Everybody who wants free will is just an evil teenager who we should laugh at and scoff and ignore, you know, all that stuff. That's basically every day it's going to be. I don't listen to it that much. I, I That's the worst part is I listen to a local radio station, you know, and like the Armstrong and Getty was referring to a dance, you know. And, like, there's this local radio station and, like, they're going to the extreme and it's like, well, I do want to listen to that. I do want to listen to that local show because you're all nuts because white, white people, not all white people own slaves and the virus has a large amount of people who just get it. Like, it's just like a cold or flu or something, or, you know, maybe the measles, who knows? But, you know, it's like, it's not like you're dying of smallpox and like the vaccine, it's a problem. It doesn't really change the numbers. You know, and it's a pain in the ass. The vaccine's a pain in the ass because you got people who hate Trump, think the vaccine is absolute Jesus, and it's like, what the hell? It's like, and Trump, Trump's a flip flopper anyway. That's the annoying part is Trump's a flip flopper, and he's like totally, he, he totally did whatever the Democrats wanted all the time, and the Democrats still were mad at him, and he was like bending over. You know, it's like, whoa. 